Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I would do some gel printing, and this time I'm going to print on fabric. So I've got a stencil here. This is from my wild stencil collection number four. I've got it laid on top of a five by seven gel plate. I've got some heavy body acrylic paint. This one's called Rouge, and it is Master's Touch one that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I was looking at the paint the other day. The price has gone up tremendously. Of course, this is an old bottle that I have here, so it's really thick paint, and I am going to brayer on top of the stencil with a soft rubber brayer, and I just want to make sure I have really good coverage, and I've got some scraps of paper, book pages over here to the side, that I'm using to clean off my brayer. I will remove the stencil and I have a tub of water over here to the side that I'll put it in. We're going to let this dry for a moment before we put the next color down. This has sat for a little while. My concept was I'm printing on fabric. I want to make my own version of maybe a faux calico with this pattern. I thought that would be kind of neat. So what do I want to use for the lift color and background? Since this was a heavy body paint, I think I'll come back in with some shades of blue. I've got a couple of colors here. This one is sky blue and cobalt blue. So I'll add just a little bit of each crusty bit in there. I may have too much paint, so I'm going to kind of brayer some of it off over here. Sometimes I forget that I'm working on the little gel plate. This is a five by seven, so I don't need as much paint. So I'm basically trying to brayer off some of that paint, just a little bit. All right. So I have some fabric that is adhered via some heat to a piece of freezer paper. You iron no steam, no moisture, the freezer paper, the shiny side to the fabric. And then what it does is gives your fabric a little body so that it's a little bit easier to handle. It's not just all floppy on you. Let's see how this turned out. I'm rubbing this to make sure that all the paint is getting adhered to the fabric. I like it. It kind of has some light and dark areas to it. I think that'll be a pretty fabric faux uh, calico. I'm just going to cut this piece of fabric so I have it for later. And there's still some blue on here. So let's pick a different stencil pattern and we'll go on from there. Okay, so this time I have the Romantic Flourish stencil. So I'll lay that in the middle. Since there's a little bit of blue on the plate now, I'm gonna come back with this lake blue and add a little bit and maybe a little bit of the sky blue with it. So I just use my soft rubber brayer, going to remove the stencil and then let this dry for. Paint's been sitting for a little while, so I know that it's dry. Now I want to put a pink behind there, but the bright magenta was too much and the rouge is too dark. So I'm going to mix some together. I don't need a lot of paint, but I want just a little bit. I think that's a pretty color. Just kind of wiping off my palette knife. I'm going to use my soft rubber brayer and pick that color up and just put it down on the back here. All right, got another piece of fabric here, so I'll just lay that down. Well, that's a cool pattern, isn't it? Very distressed. I probably didn't have enough paint in the middle, but I think that'll be a good one. I'll cut this one apart so I'll have another piece of fabric I can use here. Well, let's do one more. I think I'm going to use from the March 2020, this flower looking stencil. So this, what color we do now will be basically what's the background, the lines within, we would add another color and that would make those pop. My fabric isn't quite as big and I think I'd rather save one of them to have a different color. So let's put down I think some green, some tealy green color, lighter colors. So this one was light turquoise. And then I have 
Island Blue. And we'll lift that stencil off and allow that to dry for a few minutes. It is definitely dry and I thought I would come back in with a purple acrylic craft paint. So I'm shaking it up really good. Get a little bit on my gel plate. Get my fabric here. I think I'll do it this way. I'll just use a book page to clean up whatever's left on the side here. So I've got a little strip there I can use for some mixed media pieces. And here's our gel print with the stencil pattern. I like it. It's still a little bit on the plate, but I'm going to leave it in. I think we're going to try one more stencil. I've got the Victorian panel stencil and I'm leaving what's on my gel plate again. And I think this time we want to fill in what the pattern is going to be. And then the lattice work will be whatever color we put on last. Since we did purple last, I want to start with purple this time and fill in the stencil pattern. And then I'll let that dry. This is definitely dry now. There's a couple of wet spots here in the middle, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'll go ahead and put down this lighter turquoise, light turquoise. It is the color. And this one is island blue. And then I've got another piece of this fabric. Try to put it down where I get the most of the fabric. And then I've got a book page used to mop up the routes. There's our gel printed fabric. Well, let me show you what we did today. So we started, let me get my mop up papers out of the way. So we started with the Wild Four stencil. This was the Romantic Flourish stencil. And then this was from the March 2022 Stencil Club. And then this was the Victorian screen. And prior to the recording, I did these gel prints just playing around. This was the Funky Grid, I believe. And this was the Flowers and Vines. It was a gold. And I thought these will be fun that I can use to collage together with some what do you call commercial printed fabric. And I may even scan in some gel prints that I made earlier and then print them on fabric. Yes, you can print with an inkjet printer. All right, y'all come back and be on the lookout for the cover that I'm going to make out of these. If you would give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Check the description box below for the links to the stencils that I used today. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment in that comment section down below. Let's see, check the description box for connectors to my social media and my friend, my Facebook groups, Family Junk Journal people, as well as by Linda Israel, as it, my Instagram and Twitter and Facebook <laughs> and all the other things. And know I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then I have tutorials sprinkled in here and there. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.